Yo guys, what is up? ACQ with another Mythic Heroes video. On today's one guys, we're going to talk about the new hero Cassandra who's recently out and we're going to do a quick hero view or review uh, out of her. So yeah, also we have the new banner online and on the banner there is one thing I want to share with you guys. I guess most of you guys are doing this already, but if not, this might help you out. So also we do have the Thanksgiving event, which is crazy nice. I love it. We have the daily Pantheon and try. We have the Trials of Ascension now two times, even though let's see, I don't think. Yeah, it's completed. Okay, this one is gone, unfortunately. But for a week we had daily entry to the Pantheon, which is great and was great. The Trials of Ascension is now double time reward. And yeah, we have the event center. We have the Thanksgiving market. Check-in is done now, seven days checked in, so we cannot get any more. But over here, of course, I think this is really, really great. We do have 224. We're getting some more still because this is active for, I guess, like something around a week or more. And we are aiming for Lucifer, guys. As you know, on my account, I'm going to aim for Lucifer. Unfortunately, on the banner, there isn't Lucifer right now. This one also is the package. You are getting 1200 and all of your guildmates getting 30 of the gems, which could be kind of okay. It's five euro. I guess it is okay, guys. So also double friendship points. This is crazy, man. I love it. We have 58. Now we have 92 since of the double reward. That is really, really nice. All right. So let's go ahead and show you the first tip in the summoner sanction, which is over here on the limited summon. So what we do have, we have Nuva now in, we have SSR Cassandra and SSR. My choice is Izanami. Either Izanami or Ganjang and Moye, those are the heroes I'm aiming for at the moment. So this is extremely important. 10 summons for an SSR. So you always, and that is just my opinion, and I guess it is like a good one. You should always save up 10 of those limited time summon skills, uh, scrolls, and not use them all by one. Since every two weeks, you will be guaranteed a 10, uh, an SSR hero by only summoning a 10 time, which is great guys, because oftentimes, for example, on like the limit of uh, the standard summon, we have 175. It can be possible that we don't get anything out out of 30 summons. And on this one, if you just wait for two weeks and you have all, always like 10 of those on the side, this is great. Of course, if there is the hero you're aiming for, in my case, it is um, Lucifer. I'm going to use them all, but I'm not going to use them all in one day. I'm going to use them like day by day. Maybe I'm going to use them all in a day just to make a bit of a content for you guys. But yeah, let's go ahead and do the 10 times summon. And of course, I'm hoping to get Izanami, which isn't like confirmed. You won't get Izanami. But maybe we are even getting uh, Nuva out of this one. And she's also a really good hero. Let's see. It's just an SSR. But... Oh, Cleopatra. I don't have her. All right. New hero and nice. We're getting some fodder out of this. So now no more 10 times someone guarantee an SSR. So that is what I would always do every two weeks, having 10 of those scrolls just to get one SSR hero. I mean, not for free, but a guaranteed SSR hero. All right, so now let's jump into Cassandra. I've watched about uh, a bit about her and I'm not sure. So Cassandra, let's go through this. Cassandra is a support, deals magical damage, and also she's a guardian, but well, she's not dealing too much damage, she is more like a healer. It is good that we have now on Guardian faction a healer, but is she worth it though? Let's go through this skill. So we have Cassandra prays to recover all allies to their max health in the five seconds after this. Health is gained, 70% of the amount recovered will slowly drain away. Total amount of health gained cannot exceed 400% of Cassandra's attack. 60 and 50% and the drain time is increased to 8 seconds. So about the drain away, I'm not too sure what that means to be honest. Is it like she will heal your allies but the healing is gone after that again or what is it? Next up, so this hero is like really only a healer. Um, Cassandra releases holy energy at the target nearest to her. This energy then bounces to three other heroes nearby. Recovering 8% of max health if ally or dealing 100% damage if enemy conducted up to four times recovers 10% and 110% damage. So, I mean, this is 
a bit of a damage, but still, it is bouncing around those heroes. We're gonna go to the trial and show this to you. I'm really not sure if it is worth, guys. So we have Cassandra, now the Breathless Prayer. Cassandra prays for the ally with the lowest health for the next three attacks. This hero recovers 5% of their max health each time they are hit. Recovers 7.5, recovers 10% and the skill effect for the next four attacks. I mean, this is great. This is like 40% of their max health, was it? Yeah, max health. This is this is really good. But do we really need another healer? I mean, we do have Ngakanya and uh, Idun. So those heroes are pretty, pretty solid. Now having another one, I mean, it's okay. They need to implement new heroes. But I'm not sure. I think Cassandra is not worth it for me. After Cassandra suffers lethal damage, she turns into an angel to heal all allies for 12 seconds. Can only use active skill during this time. Reduce damage taken by 10, lasts for 15, and reduce damage taken by 20%. This one still... Oh, this one is pretty good, I have to say. Um, since you can put her into the front row, so she dies, and then you will have 12 seconds damage taken by 20%. Like, reduced damage taken, and also you will be getting healed for 12 or 15 seconds. So this one is really great, I have to say, since even though she is dying, she will still provide something. But other than that, I don't know, guys. I'm really not sure about this one. Let's go to the trial. Over here, you will see. So those are the normal attacks. This is now the healing. Now this is the bouncy thing. You saw it on my hero, it healed this hero. But on the other side, it deals damage to those since as you see there, it bounces between those enemies. Unfortunately, we cannot see when she is dying, like her angel form, how this looks like. But I guess it's fine. And here again is the healing ability or the active skill. I mean, okay, they are getting healed. It's all good, it's all fine. But I'm really not sure if this hero is at this point viable. We need to have her since we cannot see anything also about what is it called? Like the weapon or something? Let's go to my heroes. Like this one, the weapon. What is gained over here? What is gained in the divinity? So this is something we really need to know. So for me personally, at this point, I'm definitely not going to go for Cassandra in any point since we do have our healer and we want to focus on Idun since just because of the energy we cover. Our Idun, unfortunately, as you see over here, we only got her once. Pretty bad, definitely, yes, but we don't have her any more. So yeah, we are still gonna wait. But what we are gonna do pretty soon is going to use those 175 premium, wait. In this game, it is called standard summoning uh, points to summon some heroes. And those one we're gonna still save up just for Lucifer. We wanna get Lucifer. So yeah, we will need 200 for a guaranteed ultra rare Lucifer. I mean, it's much 200, of course, but also we're getting over here. We're gonna see if we're gonna do completely all 200 or not. But yeah, also, as I said, like Cassandra isn't worth it for me. Nuva is a great hero, yes. But I'm not too sure. I really wanna focus down on one um, ultra rare hero instead of going for all of them, even though it could be kind of okay-ish. But Nuva is doing the job for me, even on the level she is at the moment. So I'm not gonna invest into her. All right, so let's check what do we have over here. The brand new SSR Cassandra will select 100 lucky winners from all players. We have Cassandra and give them an extra one. Okay. So if you have one Cassandra, you might be able to get another one for free. But seems like I won't get her. But yeah. Also, now let's go into the bag, guys. We have some stuff over here just to open. So we have an ultra rare hero from the fragments and almost four. Let's let's check. Do we have in the marketplace once? Normally, no. 10,800, man. Well, let's get this for gold. This one also for gold. I might be going for a reset just to get those fragments also. We can get four SSR heroes. So yeah, let's see, let's reset. Yeah, we do have a bunch of those. I'm not gonna do that. Come on. Bro, we only need one and that is all we need. We only need one. But this, I'm definitely gonna buy. 75 for a standard summon scroll, definitely worth it, guys. 
Uh, how much gold do we have? Okay, two million, it's okay, I would say. One more time. Okay, no more times. 200 diamonds is too much. Maybe we can get one out of the astronaut. Let's do some spins over here. No. Come on, we just let's let's give me this 20, man. Give me this 20 over here. Not even close. Not even close, man. I mean, we could go ahead and do the dailies and stuff, but... Let's go. Nope. Nope. Can we get them here somewhere? Please, I just need a single one. Come on, man. Oh, wait, we, we should get them over here, right? Yeah, there we go. I'm dumb. I'm really dumb. Oh, there's another five. All right. And we do have the carnival. We have bought this one, guys, just because... I mean, it is freaking expensive. Yes, but this is value. You will not get any time since you will get 250 summons. Three SSR here and ultra rare here two times, which is crazy, crazy. So we had to buy this one. All right, so let's go ahead and open these up. We got four SSR heroes. Let's see, Zanami. Two Oberon? Come on, man. I mean, we're getting Susano. Susano is great in Persephone. I don't know. Please. Please. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna look. Can I hear it? Oh, I said, oh, come on, like I said, I mean, we don't have her, but I saw a lot of people playing with I said, and they are like completely like, ah, she isn't that good and stuff. All right. So I guess we're not gonna go anywhere with those heroes. Let's see. We can upgrade Oberon. All right. Send him. We also have him on red. But I'm, I'm not investing into him, to be honest. I mean, we might need to do it since he's also a rat hero now. And our Idun, still I'm using her at the uh, arena and stuff. She's just on yellow too, which is really, really far behind. Let's just send also Susano. I'm not using him in my main, main lineup at this moment. But I guess we might really need to go for that. So I said, I mean, okay, we're getting her. But all right. So guys, this is it for the video. As always, I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Feel free to like, subscribe, and also leave down a comment below the section. All right, see you in the next one. Bye-bye.